so this is the Dark Ops FHDR 2024 Browning trail camera. It's a compact size trail camera. I've had it out for uh, a little while now. It does not have a viewing screen. It's currently been on video mode, but I would like to change that. And you can choose time lapse, video, or trail. I believe trail is just going to be photos, but I haven't got any photos on this camera, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of those, hopefully tonight. We have the photo quality on ultra. And you can see that's the highest quality for photos. And then just FYI as well for video ultra is the highest, which is 1080p in this case. Okay. I previously had my video on 10 seconds just while I was testing the camera. I am going to change it to 20 seconds. Most of my cameras are on 20 or 30 seconds and the delay between is 20 seconds. I find that's usually enough of a delay between photos or video. Um, Multi-shot mode for pictures. Let's see what you can choose. Let's choose it two shots. Temperature display. <clears throat> this is for photos. All right, put the name of the camera in. Alkaline batteries are in. Oh. Let me mention that you can also use rechargeable or lithium batteries with this camera. Just select the ones that you're using. There's time lapse if you wish. Smart IR is off, so if there's a subject in front of the camera and you want it to keep recording, you can do that. I'm not going to reformat the card. Already done that. Um, the IR flash is on economy to save batteries. You can set a capture timer for when you are interested in uh, capturing photos or videos during a specific time period. The date is already set in time. So I want to see this high dynamic resolution. This should be actually, um, it, it doesn't turn on, but it should be able to turn on for photos. I'm told that you can only turn it on and off in video mode for some reason. Um, which isn't right because it's actually for photos and if they don't have a trail cam plus with a photo and video then you're not getting the benefits of that i'm gonna shut the multi shot mode off okay so now when i go into hdr i can actually turn it on even though i'm in video mode for now so it is on um, apparently you can't turn it on in a multi, uh, for more than one multi-shot mode for photos. So, there it is.
this one right here. I decided to put the mode back to video mode from picture since the pictures I'm getting are mostly blurry. Now that I've had a chance to work with this camera for a while, I will share some pros that I've come across. The camera itself is compact in size. It only takes six AA batteries. Most of the Browning cameras do take eight. Uh, it has excellent audio. I can't stress that enough. If, you, if audio is important to you, this is a great camera to choose. Um, the video is high definition 1080p. Uh, the video is crisp looking and you can get nice screenshots from the video. I have not had luck, unfortunately, getting good pictures so far. Um, when the subject is close to the camera in the central field of view, the details can be visible and they're not washed out. Like you see in some cameras, there's a washout where the, the, like let's say for example, the deer will be totally white. You can't make any details out. That's not this camera. It works really well for close-ups, um, even centrally when the deer is right in front of the camera or another animal. Also, you should be able to get some really nice close-ups with this camera due to the invisible flash of the dark ops that will not spook game or other animals. I honestly cannot think of very many cons, but if I had to pick one for this camera, it would be that it has no viewing screen. I do like to use a viewing screen to set up the camera at my site. Some people like to use it to review video at the site or for other options during setup. Otherwise, I really have no other cons related to this camera for the review. Just a few final thoughts regarding this camera. I do really like the video quite a bit, and equally, I like the audio as well. Um, if that's what you're looking for, both video and audio, I think you'll really like this camera. I cannot really speak on the photo quality because I haven't been able to get many good photos so far. Let me know what you think of this camera, or if you own the camera, let me know how it's working for you. Thanks for watching.